Hi and welcome to a measurement video exploring the capacity of a cylinder. The capacity of a cylinder. Now, now capacity, the definition is the amount of liquid a container holds. The units of capacity, the basic unit of capacity is the litre. Other variations are the milliliter, the kiloliter and the megalitre. Notice the symbol for a megalitre is a capital M but the symbol for a milliliter is a lowercase m, so careful of that difference there. So the units of capacity, we have some capacity facts here. One litre equals a thousand millilitres, so the conversion rate we would say is a thousand, whether we multiply by a thousand or divide by a thousand, that depends on which direction we're converting. When we convert between kilolitres and litres, there's a thousand as the conversion rate and there's a thousand kilolitres in a megalitre. So the conversion rate is a thousand each time, which is going to make it pretty straightforward for us, hopefully. The conversion rules, you'll notice from our other conversions, to convert to smaller units we will be multiplying by the conversion rate, and to convert to larger units we'll divide by the conversion rate. And to help us convert between uh, units of capacity, we'll check out the conversion rate, We'll, we'll uh, decide whether we're converting from to smaller units or larger units. <coughs> Excuse me, and uh, we will that will decide whether we're multiplying or dividing by that conversion rate of a thousand to get our answer. So that decision template will help us. Let's have a look at a few examples. 5.7 megalitres. We want to convert to kiloliters. So the conversion rate is a thousand. We're converting to smaller units. Kiloliters are smaller than megalitres. So that will mean, uh, if we check our conversion rules up the top here, if we have smaller units that we're converting to, we'll multiply by the conversion rate. So we'll multiply by a thousand. So our decimal point will move three places to the right and give us 5,700 kiloliters. Next one, we're converting to litres from kiloliters. Our conversion rate's a thousand. Now litres are smaller than kiloliters, so we're converting to smaller units. Up here, if we're converting to smaller units, we're multiplying once again. That's in our conversion rules. So we'll be multiplying by a thousand, and that gives us 56,290 litres. This one, we're converting to kiloliters from litres, so we're actually using the conversion rate of a thousand but we're moving to large units uh, larger units our conversion rules will check up the top here I uh, mean we're dividing by the conversion rate of a thousand so we'll divide by a thousand on our calculator and get 0 0.7382 kiloliters so if we go through those steps uh, carefully in the decision making uh, template there that'll help us a lot we're converting to litres now from milliliters our conversion rate once again is a thousand they're making it nice for us with the conversion rates all being the same but we're converting to a larger unit this time from milliliters to liters and that will mean according to our conversion rules up the top converting to larger units will divide by the conversion rate so we'll divide by a thousand that'll give us uh, 4.2 liters for our final conversion there so quite a lot to think about there. There's our conversion rate and our units of capacity that we just got through working with. And uh, there's a relationship between some volume uh, units and capacity units as well. So one centimeter cubed of volume, that, can, that will contain or hold one milliliter of fluid or liquid. A thousand centimeters cubed of volume holds one liter and one meter cubed holds a thousand litres or a thousand litres uh, is equal to one kiloliter. So we'll use those volume and capacity facts to convert from the volume of a container to how much liquid it will hold. So to find the capacity of a container we won't go straight to the capacity we'll find the volume first and then we'll use those capacity facts as I said to calculate the final capacity how much fluid that volume would hold. So here's an example. We are asked to find the capacity of a cylinder, correct to three decimal places. Now that cylinder has a radius of 
10 cm and a height of 5 cm. We'll go for the volume first. Step 1 is to find the volume. The volume of a cylinder is pi r squared times h. Our radius is 10 and our height is 5, so we're just going to put those numbers straight underneath our formula. Pi times 10 squared, because our radius is 10, and times 5, because our height is 5. Now number-wise, our answer is uh, 15... 170.796 and that's in centimeters cubed. We've found a volume there. Now we have to uh, look at our capacity facts and see what would suit us. We want to have a capacity facts that fact that turn, uh, that works with centimeters cubed. Okay, so a thousand uh, every thousand centimeters cubed holds one liter. So, we'll use that fact, a thousand centimetres cubed holds one litre, and we'll want to know how many of those thousand centimetres cubed will fit into 1570, because that's how many one litres we'll have. So, we will divide by, when you're asking how many of one number fits into another, that's a divide by question. Division will do there. So we'll divide by a thousand and we'll get a capacity of 1.571 litres. Correct to three decimal places. So we found a volume, then we used our one of our capacity facts up here to go from centimetres cubed in this case to litres. So, we have our units of capacity, litres, millilitres, kilolitres, megalitres, all with conversion rates of a thousand. We used our conversion rules there to convert numbers. And uh, this is a handy guide here. Millilitres to kilolitres, we'll times by a thousand. To go back the other direction, we'll divide by a thousand. To convert between kilolitres and litres, we'll either multiply by a thousand or divide by a thousand, depending on which direction we're going. And between litres and millilitres, once again, we'll either multiply or divide by a thousand. So nice and neat there with the thousands everywhere. When we're converting to a smaller unit, we'll multiply by a thousand. When we're converting to bigger units, we'll divide by a thousand. And to find the capacity of a container, we found the volume first, and then we used our capacity facts to calculate how much fluid or how much liquid that volume container would uh, would be able to hold. So that's how we find the capacity of a cylinder. You could really use the same process to find the capacity of any shaped container. If you can find the volume of that container you can work out how much liquid it holds by using those uh, capacity facts that we were discussing earlier in the video. Hope that helps. That is the capacity of a cylinder. Don't forget Peter Blake maths.com for all your maths instruction video needs. See you next time.